fans, the Brahmas look to get back on track this weekend and remain undefeated at home. Reporting for the Nitech Sports Center, I'm Nick Merrick with your pregame report. Last week, the Brahmas took two out of a possible six points against the Amarillo Bulls and Topeka Roadrunners. In their first true road test in nearly a month, the Lone Star Brahmas were only able to score three goals on the weekend against the Roadrunners. Defenseman Alexi Soloviev had a goal in each game, and Liam Sturzinger had the other on the power play. Dan Wildfong and Jeff Potter not afraid to make some changes as they're looking to get their team back on track this weekend. That means they're shuffling up the lines. Ludwig Larsson will join the top line with Oscar Andrew and Sebastian Vidmar. Roman Yuchin, Eric Carreras, and AJ Vanderbeck will be the team's second line. Pat Egan slides down to the third line to help out Cody Wickline and Hunter Stanley. And Liam Sturzinger, Quinn Carroll, and Nick Ford wrap out the fourth line for the Brahmas this evening. A couple of Brahmas battling illness this week, and because of that, defenseman Alexei Soloviev will not be dressed this evening. Defenseman Bud Madej and Sean Giles will be the team's second pairing. Taking a look at the action between the pipes, the future Dutchman and Jake Kupski expected to start tonight for the Lone Star Brahmas. His counterpart? Johansson expected to get the start tonight in net for the Killer Bees. Both Johansson and Schmidt saw action in the last two games against the Lone Star Brahmas. Forwards to watch for the Killer Bees will be Parker Wood, Anthony Croston, and Kyle Stefan. Stefan has a multi-point performance in his two games already against the Brahmas. Stafford Zumalitis also closing out the month of November on a strong note, four points in his last five games. That'll do it for our pregame report. Reporting from the Nitech Sports Center, I'm Nick Merrick. Let's play some hockey.